A year after most Diwali celebrations around the world were canceled because of COVID-19, nonprofit in Diaspora hosted a few hundred people on Capitol Hill to celebrate the marking of a new year and to salute the growing number of Indian Americans in public service. The pandemic really brought us closer together because everybody was living in the land of darkness. So we decided this was an opportune time for us to come back out. To be able to welcome people to the house has been wonderful. So uh, I hope this is just a reminder that community exists whether we're in COVID times or not. I mean, what does it mean that we actually got together in person to do an event like this? Well, it was an important moment. You know, Diwali is about light overcoming darkness. There's been a lot of dark times over the last year and a half. So to be able to celebrate Diwali, to talk about the meaning of it, to remember like our light and importance of seeing the light in each other during this difficult moment, it's, it's incredibly important. Not only did prominent Indian Americans like U.S. Surgeon General Dr. Vivek Murthy take to the stage to light Diwali Diaz, but a multi-ethnic, multi-faith coalition of Hindus, Muslims, Jews, Jains, Buddhists, and Christians came together as well, a scene that is a far cry from what we see these days in Washington. The Indian American community has brought in so much to this country, uh, and you know, as we celebrate uh, Diwali here and a, and a Happy New Year, you know, the, the whole idea of light over darkness and good over evil, I think is something we should all have in our minds as Americans, that it's time for us to move out of the darkness and into the light. It's nice for everyone to kind of come back to see the celebration of the diaspora, everyone here on the, the hill, and the spirit of Diwali, right? of enlightenment, of coming together, finding our better nature. That's something that Congress could have a little bit more of right now. We close our out to 2021. I plan to introduce legislation that would further enshrine this day of light, Diwali, as a federal holiday. New York Congresswoman Carolyn Maloney, who advocated for a postage stamp commemorating the volley that came to life in 2016, announced an effort to make the volley an American federal holiday. Behind me is a likeness of Mahatma Gandhi. And South Carolina Congressman James Clyburn invoked the influence of Gandhi on his life of service, saying he was introduced to his teachings by none other than Martin Luther King Jr. during a meeting with him and the late Congressman John Lewis in October 1960. As we celebrate the volley and uh, the light in our lives. The night was capped off with an appearance by Neera Tandon, who in her new role as staff secretary is now the highest ranking Indian American official in the White House, aside from Vice President Kamala Harris. Really thrilled at the opportunity and I take very seriously my role as a high ranking Indian American in the administration. Uh, you know, I, you dance with the people who bring you, and so I just want to always ensure that our voices are at the table. After nearly two years of strife dealing with a global pandemic, this night served as a reminder of what is possible when people from all walks of life come together to celebrate our common humanity. For the ATV Spotlight, I'm Ravi Kapoor on Capitol Hill.